After almost 18 years with Point of Grace, um, I decided uh, through prayer and a lot, of, um, a lot of talking with my husband that I would retire from Point of Grace. And I just wanted to share with you um, the reasoning behind that, and that was that the Lord um, put on my heart that I had four children, a husband with a full-time ministry, and that um, it was time for me to come and be a stay-at-home mom and to support him and his ministry and to um, be able to be there for my oldest daughter who's about to start kindergarten and my other little ones. And um, I have been blessed with an incredible ministry with Point of Grace. And I am continuing in the music ministry, of course, in my local church. And um, now that I have um, been home for a few years, I have also been able to record an album and in that, have been able to control my schedule. And so it's really the best of both worlds. I get to stay at home and be mom and wife, and then on occasion go and, and do a women's conference or go do a, a, a concert in a church. So it's been incredible, and I just am so thankful that the Lord has brought me to this point. And I just wanted to share my heart with you and all of that. I'm very excited to let you guys know that I have recorded a new album. It is a collection of hymns and it's called Sweet Exchange. And I um, love, I grew up on hymns and I love hymns. And so we've, we have a collection of old hymns from ages past. Just chose some of my favorites and um, given them a little new twist. I like to call it my shabby chic hymns album. Taken some of the old and brought in some of the new. And the new is We've written some worship choruses to go along with these hymns, and so you get the rich doctrine that's in the hymns, and that you, we've also written some, um, some choruses that I think you'll enjoy singing along with. So I know I love hearing my children sing along in the back seat of our car um, when we play the CD, so I hope you guys enjoy it.